Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh my god, it's so good. So I've been going to the same Starbucks for over a month or so at 5 in the uh, 5 a.m. in the morning because that's when I go to work and I need coffee when I drink. I drive an hour to work. So that's why I uh, make sure to stop by Starbucks get some coffee so I can drink it on the way. I've been doing that for over a month. Going to the same Starbucks, same time, same drink for a month. So I get a grande white chocolate mocha with soy milk and whipped cream. I don't know why, like, start acknowledging your customers, right? Like, it's not like I get something different every day. I go there at the same time, um, same, you know, same dates and same drink. So I don't, like, I kind of get, I kind of, I was getting kind of upset and because I, I actually used to work at a Starbucks. Like, I know how it feels to remember a customer and I know how much they liked it. Because whenever I was um, working at, working on, uh, I was um, working on drive through you know, I try to remember, the, like, kind of recognize their voice and try to like, kind of punch in their orders before and just let them know that I know their order. It just makes a customer feel good. But I was so upset that they haven't even acknowledged me once.
liked working at Starbucks because, why well, I, I really liked working there because you get really good benefits. Everyone's friendly. And the best thing about working in customer service is talking crap about your customers with your coworkers. I think that was my favorite part because I used to be a server, a uh, barista. Uh, I used to work at a nail shop. So yeah, I've been there. <laughs> and like there are some really like crazy customers, high maintenance. They ask for craziest things for, you know, it's really frustrating. And honestly, I think even the nicest people can be a little annoying sometimes because like I get it, they're trying to be nice, they try to talk to you, but like when you're busy, like you don't have time to talk, you know? That happened to me a lot at a restaurant when I was serving. There were like a couple of nice people who always like, they did that, like not only me, they did that, they did that to all, all of the servers at the restaurant. Like they would like stop them and talk to them like, oh, like what brought you here? Like, what did you do in the past? Like, why are you here? And I'm just like, like I get it, you want to know about my personal life, but like, take a look, you know, take a look. Like we are busy, like we don't have time for this. Like you might not agree with me actually unless you have you worked at a restaurant or served before. But people who talk more, like customers who talk more and like who like people that are really nice with their words and like they always say, Oh thank you so much, like you were great, like those are the people who tip you really little. Like I mean sometimes there are people who like tip you really well, but usually those people tip you like either fifteen percent or less. So I'm like, I, that's why I always tell people, like, I'd rather deal with, like, really high maintenance people, but I meet their standard and get a good tip. I had another incident when I was at Starbucks drive through So, look, I think it's not just Starbucks, but any like drive through You can't, like, the, the store can't take your garbage. It's just like sanitary stuff, like, it's just the regulations. You can't do it. And, and I wish I could take it. It's not, it's not a big deal, but, you know, we're not supposed to. And there was this guy who always comes, he's, you know, he comes every day. But he's so mean. He's so mean. But he, I don't know, like, I don't, apparently, like, we don't make him happy, but he still comes back. So, whatever. And he, so he drove up, pulled up to the window, and then he gives me his old cup. I'm like, oh, sir, we can't take that in. I'm sorry, whatever. And he's like, okay, just let it sit there then. I'm like, um... I was so shocked that some people have, like, people can do that, you know, like, who do you think you are? Like, you know, like, when I was, and then he just, like, left it at the little, he just left it at, you know, the little, um, counter thing, right, front, like, right next to the window. He just, like, left it there. And the same guy ordered, like, a pound cake, and he, um, so he wanted it not warm. He didn't want to like toast it. He didn't want it warmed up. But um, the person who was taking care of all the pastries, he accidentally, he, she accidentally um, 
warmed it up and we gave it to him. He's like, he yells at me saying, I said not warmed up and he throws it on the ground. We're like, oh my God, like, is this guy serious? <laughs> like, who does that? That's so rude. So I, before Starbucks, I worked at a little coffee shop back in school. Um, so my first job ever was being, was a hostess at a sushi restaurant. And after that, I became a nail technician, worked um, every summer. I came back from college and I worked um, at a nail shop to get, you know, to save up a little bit of money. After that, Yeah, and then I became, uh, and then uh, I, I, when I graduated school, I was serving a little for at least a good, at least a year, I think. Um, yeah, I served at a sushi restaurant, two, two different restaurants within one year. Um, so that was good, kind of. The first restaurant was, con first restaurant was dying, like the restaurant was losing its business. So I had to go to the second one, which is just doing so well. They actually opened two new places this year, which is crazy. Um, yeah, and then um, worked at a Starbucks for a little bit, and then now I have this job. Man, so if you guys want, if you guys want to hear anything about me, like you know my experiences, like nail technician or server, I have so many stories. So I would love to talk about it if you guys are interested. Oh no. 